Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody is having a great day today. Today I wanted to do a what's in my bag video of my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and this is in the Empreinte leather um, in the noir or the black. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So first of all, I feel like I have to say this but unfortunately, unfortunately I feel like I have to say this and I wish that I didn't. I know that these items are very expensive that I'm about to talk about. I do not take any of these things lightly. Um, it's very serious when you make a purchase this large and as expensive as this. So don't, you know, I don't know, take it with a grain of salt, I guess is what I'm saying. Like I bought this when I achieved something very large in my life. Um, it was a really big deal for me to be able to purchase this. Don't give me... Um, you know, confused. I'm not going out and buying these items just willy-nilly. Oh, flit around money here and there because it is definitely not the case. I was able to purchase this because of a large life event that happened in my life recently. So yes, let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So I will leave all of the dimensions of this bag down below, but this is it. And you just open it like this. Six and a half hours later. I have had this bag for um, a little bit, about two months now, I would say. And as you can see, I still have the protective stickers on here. Just for your enjoyment, I'm going to peel them off right now on camera. I just decided I was going to do this. Huh? Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm like just getting the bag all over again because I have had the stickers on there. Oh my gosh, the gold is so shiny. Let me see. Can we even see what I'm doing? I have to unhook it. Yay! Okay, so that was exciting. Now let's talk about what's actually in the bag. All right, so this is how the bag looks. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, this is how it looks on the inside. There is a small slit pocket in the back here. And then there is one large compartment in the center, and then there's a smaller compartment in the front here, as you can see. So let's just go ahead and unpack this. So I don't really keep anything back here. Um, if I'm wearing this out and about running errands, I typically keep like receipts in here. I might keep some money back there. Um, just random stuff that's like um, skinny. I will keep back there, but for the most part, I really don't keep anything back there. I think I just have like, yeah, I just have a business card back there right now. So, and then in this main big compartment, I have my mini pochette. I've got my mini pochette, and this is just as acts as a catch-all in my bag. I've got like tissues in here, more business cards, um, tissues, car insurance, business cards. I've got um, one of these little dental floss things in here. I have a pen in here. I've got a hair clip in here, and I've just got a receipt, a receipt, a receipt from Marshalls in here as well. So um, I tend to empty this out at the end of the week because it does kind of get a lot of stuff in it. So that is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette in the Damier Ben canvas. All right, next thing that I have in here, um, this is what's taking up a majority of the bag. And this is my um, makeup case, and it says contents, my life. I love this makeup case. It's just a cloth case. Um, and this kind of, sometimes I carry this, sometimes I don't. If I'm just running errands, I typically don't have makeup on, so I wouldn't need to touch up necessarily, so I wouldn't have to have this. But if I'm going somewhere like to dinner, or if I'm going to an event, or if I'm going to a party, I would definitely have this with me, and that's how I would pack it in my bag. So I've got my oil control blotting sheets, my little Sephora Beauty Insider um, compact mirror. I have a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Medium Plus. I have a little brush in here also from Sephora. This was when I renewed my VIB Rouge status. I got a little brush in a case. I have a Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade uh, Tara. Excuse me. I have another brush in here from Sephora. This is the Pro Mini Airbrush in 55.5. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I have a lip liner in here in the shade Strip Down. I have some hand lotion. 
that I stole from a hotel. <laughs> and then I have a hair clip. So that is everything that was in there. All right, next, moving on to the front portion, the slim portion. Um, right here, I'm doing my best, y'all. I've never done one of these before. <laughs> right here, I have my Louis Vuitton monogram envelope Descartes something, something in French. Um, it's just a card holder that snaps closed. Um, I spent a really long time looking at the wallets at Louis Vuitton, and I just... I'm not a full-size wallet person. I haven't used a full-size wallet in like probably eight or nine years. I can't remember the last time I used a full-size wallet. I typically go very compact with my stuff. So it's just a card holder. It's just a simple card holder like that. It's got, let me take my cards out of it first. How about that? <laughs> it's got um, one slip pocket right here, another one right there for your cards, and then a larger you can see it's got like gussets on the side and it's got a larger pocket right here. And then also there is a slip pocket up here and I tend to put like cash in that top one. So that fits perfectly. Another thing that I love about this is that this actually fits perfectly into my mini pochette. As you can see, I love this thing because if I ever want to go super, super compact, which most of the time I do, I can just use this as like a little mini clutch type of a thing and put my um, little card holder in the pochette and just go and not have to take the whole bag. All right. And then in there I have my phone. And this is the iPhone 6 Plus. So it is the bigger iPhone and it fits down in there just fine. I do also have a case on mine. And then last but not least, I always have sunglasses with me. And these are the sunglasses. Um, I do typically keep my sunglasses in a case. I find that when I put the sunglasses in a case and then put them in my purse, it can kind of be a little bit bulky. It's a lot easier if I'm not carrying my cosmetic pouch. If I am carrying my cosmetic pouch, I can't really put my sunglasses in a case and it close. But if I'm not carrying my cosmetic pouch, then I can keep my sunglasses in a case no problem. So that is everything that fits in that bag. I know you can probably fit quite a bit more. I've seen videos of girls like really stuffing this thing. But considering that this is like my only and first Louis Vuitton purchase, I really, I'm really trying not to overstuff it because I don't want it to lose its shape or anything or get any kind of crazy dents in it. Um, one other thing is that it does have a slip pocket in the back with a... Um, the Empreinte leather does have the leather pull tab. I don't think the canvas version does. And um, there's nothing down in there right now. I also have seen some videos of girls, they put their phone back here. If I did not have my phone case, if I did not have a case on my phone, I would definitely put my phone back here. But I find, I'll show you. Whenever I stick my phone in here, I'll just show you. Well, I guess it's not that bad, but over time it would, I don't know. I'm just not comfortable with that, I guess. I just don't want it to bend the leather in any way, and um, over time I feel like this would kind of stretch out and bulge out with my phone being in there. But you could put it in there, and maybe sometimes if I get lazy or decide not to baby this bag so much, I will start putting it in there. But for now, I do put it in that front pocket. So... It does come with a strap that is removable and adjustable. Anyway, so you can remove these if you want and put a different strap on there. It does have a top handle right here that you can use. Um, but yeah, I've been loving this bag and I've only carried it um, a handful of times, but I have had it for a couple of months and that has been the majority. I tried packing it a, um, a couple different ways, but that is really how I've been loving carrying it recently. And I have carried it to events, I've carried it running errands, I've dressed it up, I've dressed it down. And yeah, I'm just loving this bag from Louis Vuitton. This is the very first bag that um, I have purchased from Louis Vuitton and I had my eye on it. And I definitely wanted it in the monogram on prompt leather because I just, I don't know, I just wanted my first piece to be a leather piece for some reason. Um, I, like mon I like the canvas for the small leather goods, like the... Um, mini pochette in my card holder, but for bags, I just think the on front leather just looks really classy and um, timeless. So yeah, that is everything that was in this bag. Sorry, I keep looking at my viewfinder. Like I said, I've never done one of these videos. I just 
thought that I would do one. If you want to see a tutorial on this look, I will leave it linked somewhere in um, either on the screen or in the description box down below this video. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will leave a quick quick link to subscribe somewhere right here on the screen. It's just my face and you click on it. I will also leave links to some of my other videos over here and you can just click on those. Don't forget to subscribe and check the description box down below for a full list of products mentioned. I will also have all of the information like the pricing and um, the, length, the width and the length of this bag <laughs> and all information like that. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.